بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعود بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله قال الله تعالى في القرآن الكريم بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما ثم أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار والعياذ بالله قال الله تعالى بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم في سورة الأعراف وقال الملأ الذين كفروا من قومه لأن اتبعتم شعيبا إنكم إذا لخاسرون فأخذتهم الرجفة فأصبحوا في دارهم جاثمين الذين كذبوا شعيبا كأن لم يغنوا فيها الذين كذبوا شعيبا كانوا هم الخاسرين فتولى عنهم وقال يا قوم لقد أبلغتكم رسالة ربي ونصحت لكم فكيف آسى على قوم كافرين وما أرسلنا من قرية من نبي إلا أخذنا أهلها بالبأساء والضراء لعلهم يضرعون ثم بدلنا مكان السيئة الحسنة حتى عفوا وقالوا قد مس آباؤنا الضراء والسراء فأخذناهم بغتة وهم لا يشعرون الله سبحانه وتعالى tells us our story in the Quran and he repeats them over and over and over and he tells us what we're going to think and he tells us what we're going to say and we say what's in the Quran and we think just like in the Quran he tells us every generation before you thought they figured it all out they thought they know everything they were big and bad they built it big they ran the earth but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says tashabahat qulubum it's the same during the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam time when the Quran was revealed one of the first surahs that came out that instructed the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to go declare the message publicly. And the message was, Ya ayyuha al-muddathir qum fa'andhir, rabbaka fa'kabbir, wa thiyabaka fa'tahhir. There is one problem that we have when we read the Qur'an. We take out the human aspect of the stories. So therefore, we read it as we're watching the Avengers, a fantasy. We forget that Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was a man, lived in with his people 40 years, he was the neighbor, he was just a regular guy that everybody knew and he knew everybody. And one day he was given the task 
you got to go knock on the doors and tell people Jibreel came to you and I am a prophet. Put yourself in that situation. Put yourself in the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam situation. He was laughed at. He was called a Majnoon. He was called crazy. There's one thing that he didn't do. He didn't think that the task was impossible. Why? <laughs> do not be sad. Allah is with us. Musa, kalla, inna ma'ya rabbi sayahdeen. When the people, the believers, Bani Israel, Fir'aun, they could see him coming. Musa was certain. There's no way. Allah is with me. This is what you call certainty. Allah tells us these stories not because it is things that we cannot achieve. He gives us human beings as prophets as an example how to live. Unfortunately, we say these things, then you say, well, these were prophets. Okay, we got the prophets. How about the Sahaba? Oh, these are Sahabas. There's nothing like them. Again. Allah says, He didn't send angels because on earth there's human beings. But how people that repeat ayat al-kursi every day, taught it every day, Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyum, la ta'akhuduhu sinatun wa la nawm, lahu ma fi samawati ma fi al-ard. We remind each other every single day who owns this, who makes the decision, who has the strength, who got your back. But then we're afraid to call ourselves Muhammad. Then we cheat in our businesses because that's how we're going to get the money. This khutbah that I'm making, it's a wake-up call. I never thought in my lifetime Allah will kick us out of his home. And he did. Mecca, around the Kaaba, was empty. And if you think this is not a sign to wake up, then I don't know what to say. It is very scary. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in these stories in the Qur'an. In Surah Al-Qamar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala repeat the style of the surah. وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ Is he talking about people listening? Is he talking about the people that are listening and taking heed? And we have made the Qur'an easy for remembrance. Is there any that take heed? Is there any that take heed? Then we say, what can I do? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about Nuh alayhi salam. وَلَقَدْ حَمَلْنَاهُ بِذَاتَ أَلْوَاحٍ وَدُسُرٍ Saved him with plywood and nails. That's what he called the ship. Plywood and nails. We have to make a decision. Why are we here? What is the purpose that we are here? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us this in the Qur'an. That ما كان لي من علم بالملأ الأعلى إذ يختصمون إيوها إلي إلا أنما أنا نذير مبين إذ قال ربك للملائكة إني خالق بشرا من طين. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was instructed in these ayat in Surah Sad. I have no knowledge of the dispute that was happening when me and you were created. All I know is, when the creation came, there was a problem. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had a talk with the angels. Iblis was there, present. He says, when I created him, then you prostrate. 
You and me, Jibreel, that blocked the horizon, made sujood for me and you. Why? That's the question we need to ask. Why? This is reality in the Quran. This is not a fantasy. He made sujood for me and you. Before our creation, they had doubt. You're going to create something that's going to cause destruction, bloodshed? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching me and you a lesson. He tells the angels, don't judge the future based on what you see or you may know. I know what he's capable of. Do you know what you're capable of? That's the question. Because we determine who we are, but what society tells us who we are, how we are doing in the day-to-day -day things. How did people in the desert bury their daughters alive? Were so barbaric that no one took their place over, ruled the world in less than 23 years. Because Allah, with his message, lifted their head and they saw and they moved forward. So what is why we are here? We are here لِنَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا Every second, angels are writing. Everything you say, ما يَوْفِضُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ It's written down. This is the reality. This, this entire dunya is created for one purpose. It's to see who's worthy to be next to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who wants to be to meet his Lord? If you think you are here to go get a degree, and to go let people see how good you are and you get the car that you want and you get the house that you want Wallahi, all I have to tell you is Wal'asr Inna al-insana lafi khusr Illa al-ladheena amanu wa amilu al-salihat wa tawasaw bil-haqq wa tawasaw bil-sabr Your purpose of everything that you do is to give whoever you're looking at what you have You want to sleep? He has to sleep You want to eat? He has to eat that's what Islam is. You stand up for the truth. Because if you don't, because you're paying your rent, somebody else can't. That's the reality of it. Injustice does not happen because bad people. Ali ibn Abi Talib said, the people with the haqq will stay silent. That the people with falsehood, they think they're on truth. Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anh said He said If a man does not live According to his faith He started to believe How he lives Believe in how he lives So if we die tomorrow Are we ready for the questions? You want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to overlook your sins? Did you look at other people's mistake? You want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy on you? Did you have mercy on others? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala points it and puts it very straightforward. He says in the day of judgment, some people will be resurrected blind. They will ask. Why Allah, why you resurrect me blind and I used to see? He says, That's why Our signs or verses, the Quran came to you. You have overlooked it. Guess what? You're being overlooked today. Right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts the formula very easy. There is not, the, the problem is that we are so busy so busy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us this in the Quran as well. al hakum al takathur So busy, so occupied. They're trying to rebuttal rhetoric. Falsehood. That could be demolished like this. 
Right? Just questioning and questioning and shaking our belief. I'm going to give you an example. Woman rights is a big thing, right? Huge thing. Muslim world is this and Islam is this and Islam is that. And then we try to justify Aisha's radiallahu anha's age and we're talking this. And the problem is the enemies of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa did not use that against him. That's number one. Number two, not me or you or anybody else determine what's the age. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does. Right? Number three, let's talk about the real topic here. Right? Let's say I'm not a Muslim, forget it. Let's work together to feed people. Why are people hungry? Why are we talking about something that's irrelevant? Why are millions are dying? But again, we are so scared of this virus when our millions are dying way before that, every day. Just because our Allah puts it on TV, because we believe in what we see, then we freak out. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, in these ayat that I read in the beginning, Shu'ayb, he was a man like me and you. He was given the risala. He was a kid, grew up with his friends, played with them, ate with them, was at their mom's house, was chilling like you say with them. He grew up with them. He got the message. He advised them over and over and over. They refused to listen. What was he advising them? Hey, just believe in Allah. No. He's advising them, you have to run things right. You have to be fair. Right? The problem is that human beings start to think that everything just revolves around me. How can I get a bigger plate? Guess what? You're not taking a bigger plate. You're giving a smaller plate to somebody else. So that's what Allah wants us to understand. Min nafsin wahida. You are created from a single soul. Huh? Ya ayyuhan nas. اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء Simple message You don't need to open Ibn Kathir or any of that stuff to understand what is لا إله إلا الله The purpose is this What you are striving for is to meet Allah Right? So when you work at your job Where? You work in the hospital? The goal is not to get your job done. You need to do it proficiently and the right way and teach others so you could get to your goal. Once you finish with that, you make sure it's sustained and you move to the next mission. That is what the Sahabas did. That is what a Muslim does. Right? The goal is justice. Not because your flag or because of your land or because I'm from Pakistan or I am because I'm from Philistine or I'm because of this. No. Injustice everywhere. Human beings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa. We are the successors of earth. We have to maintain the balance. We have to maintain the balance. We're the only one of capable of making decisions. So when you see shootings in schools, it's not the crazy guy shooting. It's the result of who we are. So no matter how much you patch or put gun laws or put whatever, it's the world crying out, look what you have become. We have to face reality. So, how do we fix this? How do we fix this? It's really simple. It doesn't cost any money. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the formula. Insha'Allah, I will say it in the second khutbah. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين الله سبحانه وتعالى tells us the formula one you can't change the sunnah of Allah plan whatever you want there is only one way 
one way you will have peace in this dunya and you will be with Allah in the akhirah. Wal asr. Inna al insana la fi khusr. By time, by the squeeze of time. 1400 years ago was asr. Sundown is day of judgment. So time is ticking. Guess what? Everybody got enough. Inna al insana la fi khusr. One exception. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Wake up. Believe. وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ You know when the weatherman tells us the hurricane is coming? Look what people do. You go, you get the plywood. You go stand in line, get the gasoline. You go board up your house. You go and run and to make sure you got yourself covered. Well, if you think the hurricane is bad, there's a bigger hurricane coming. يَوْمَ يَفِرُّ الْمَرْءُ مِنْ أَخِيهِ وَأُمِّهِ وَأَبِيهِ وَصَاحِبَتِهِ وَبَنِيهِ لِكُلِّ مْرِئٍ مِّنْهُمْ يَوْمَ إِذٍ شَأْنٌ يُغْنِي I'm not saying anything from any other book. This is Allah. I am just saying what Allah says. This is a reality going to happen. إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرِ Except those who believe. Believe what Allah says. Believe what you are here. Prepare. عَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Go get the plywood and nails. وَتَوَاصَوْ بِالْحَقِّ Stop arguing about opinions. Fact. Encourage each other with truth. How do we get to the next step? Not what I think and what you think and how we do and how we... No. How do we get to the next step? We're all facing danger. We need to know what's the next step. So, we need to know how do we do things efficiently, how do we help people efficiently, how do we div diversify, how do we, how do we help others, how do we meet Allah as if we trying to change the world. Because Allah will give you the blessing for that and much more. He's not looking for you to do it, so. Nuh did all he can for 900 years. Barely any. He will get rewarded as if he changed the world. Yunus alayhi salam is the next part. وَتَوَاصَوْ sabr. Be persistent. Be patient. Don't do things for the result. Do things that you want Allah to reward you. Yunus alayhi salam gave up. Allah says, no, you have to go back. You don't determine if people are going to listen or not. Guess what? Everybody listen. Just to prove them that you don't get to say who's going to listen or not. So, at the end of the day, we have to, only solution is to work together towards the truth. We want for everybody to have what we have. لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب الأخيه ما يحب لنفسه None of you will believe until they love for the other what they love for themselves. So that is the simple message of Islam. Let anybody come and try to dispute that is how the human being should live. Let anybody come and dispute what is the utmost way, the proper way for any human being to live. You cannot argue with that. You want to talk about Aisha's age now? Let's talk about what I just said. That is what Islam is. And when it comes to women, right? Listen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put you in a, such a high state that Nuh alayhi salam, a prophet, his son was a disbeliever because his mother was a disbeliever. Musa grew up in the biggest non-believer there is because his mother was a believer. So you are society. Do not get distracted that everybody is in a different level in the eyes of Allah, but we are equal. So we have to work together as a society to want the best for each other. So the angels are writing. They will not stop. And you will be presented with your book. So from today, we need to work together. We need to make sure that we educate ourselves what the Quran says. Iqra. Grab it on your own and read it. Allah did not send it for people that went to 40 years to school to understand it. He sent it to people 
Some of them couldn't even read or write. Some of them were blind. They understood it. It's a simple message. Don't overcomplicate what Allah says. Allah is not trying to fool you, try, trying to take you away astray. It's a very simple message. Read it yourself. Iqra. The message is Iqra, not Isma. Iqra. Read. Read on your own. Read it, understand it. Of course, you're going to need to seek knowledge to have a better understanding, to know further what it means. But the simple message is there. We need to read the Quran, understand our purpose. This is a job. You clocked in the day you were born. Let's know what to do so we can meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be with Him in paradise. There is nothing more fulfilling. There is nothing in the world will get you content until you see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون ولذكر الله أعلى وأكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون نقم الصلاة